Okay, so Mr. Jones says they are locked and loaded for this year. The rap sheet also adds that this clears the path for Dak Prescott to test free agency in 2025. So what do you make of all that is going on with Dak and the Cowboys, Jason? The one thing that stands out is you said mutual. They both decided like, hey, we're not going to do anything to the contract. So for Dak, it was just like, you know what? Like, I don't want any more money. I don't want to be here for more years than just this one that I'm going to play out. That's the confusing thing to me. Or it's the Dak. Dallas Cowboys saying, hey, you know what? Another season of what we just went through, of, it was amazing during the regular season. We're bringing everybody back. We lost to the Green Bay Packers. We got blown out at home. You know what? It might be time for reset. Maybe we play out this year and we see what next year brings us. I look at this from Dak Pres Prescott's perspective. We just watched Kirk Cousins play out the last year of his deal. He took off and he went to Atlanta. In 2019, I was with the New England Patriots where Brady, for the first time, went into the last year of his deal. He took off. He went to Tampa Bay and won a Super Bowl. For Dak Prescott, you talked about it. He has no trade clause, no tag cost clause. So for him, when this season wraps up, why am I going to stay with the Dallas Cowboys, depending upon how the season goes? He'll have many suitors. There'll be so many teams at that point that are dying for a quarterback that they're going to look at it, and Dak Prescott makes our team better. We can bring him here and feel like we have the roster, plug him in, and maybe we can win some more games. Mm. So I look at this, and it's just like, for fans, are you, start, are you starting to Photoshop Dak Prescott with your favorite team on yeah. it? For fans, do you want <laughs> Dak Prescott? For Cowboys fans, you're looking at it, and it's like, have we seen enough of this story? Have we seen enough? of Dak Prescott, we get to the playoffs, we win a lot of games, we put up points, we put up stats, sure. but we fall short. Dallas Cowboys seems like, you always say it, for the past almost 30 years, it's the same thing, the same thing, mm -hmm. the same thing. Is this the lead into, at the end of the season, blowing this thing up, maybe keeping Micah Parsons and CeeDee Lamb and going out there and there could be a new quarterback in Dallas? Mm. Like, Dak Prescott should do what I did last night. I looked at this and I was like, you know what? Types in on Google, top quarterback free agent signings. If Dak looks around, he'll look at it and he'll see Drew Brees, mm -hmm. he'll see Kurt Warner, mm -hmm. he'll see Peyton Manning, he'll see Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. And when he sees those names, all of those guys went on to new teams mm -hmm. and they won Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. These pictures are guys hoisting Lombardi trophies because they won Super Bowls. So I, is this a unique situation? No doubt about it. Anytime a team comes out and says, hey, we talked, we've mutually agreed that it's not going to work out, they're basically saying, hey, buddy, we got one year left and then we're going to let you fly. We're going to let you go wherever you want. And what I think is interesting about that, in 2019 when we had Brady on our team, we all knew that at the end of the year he would be a free agent. I think as a player, you start to think about that. Like, I never thought I'd be a free agent. I played for the Dallas Cowboys. I thought I'd be the Cowboy quarterback forever. You start to look out there. You play against a team. They have weapons. They're, they're on offense. And you kind of look at the quarterback. You say, yeah, that quarterback's not that good. If I'm Dak. Maybe I'll start shooting some text messages out to guys. Hey, how you guys doing over there? Hey, where do everybody go out and eat? What's the massage therapist like over there? Yeah. Like all yeah, of these little right. questions. Cool down there? You start thinking yeah. about your next year because that's what's important. And, you know, if they get off to an 8-0 start, then, yeah, you start thinking about a Super Bowl. But in Dallas, it hasn't looked good, you know, during in the postseason. But during the regular season, they've won. And I think the fan base starts to get tired. I got picked up from the airport yesterday from the owners' meetings, and uh, my guy George is my driver. Yeah. He was like, I'm okay with it. Let Dak be a free <laughs> agent. A Cowboys I'm fan. okay with it. He's a diehard <laughs> Cowboys fan. And you start to see that more and more. You talk to different people, and they're like, oh, we don't need him. I'm, I'm ready for a new quarterback anyway. And be careful. Yeah. A lot of these teams that moved on to new quarterbacks, they went some years uh, mm. feeling pretty bad. The drivers always got takes, don't they? Got them. They can't and wait. And some of the best ones. Right. And you know if they're that mouthy, they're talking about you, too. <laughs> yeah, Jeff <laughs> McCourty, a lot of luggage. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Uh, they, they, they're real chatty. Listen, there's a thing going on right now, and it's a, so all these big quarterbacks with all this money, there's teams starting to say, like, ah, we might want to get busy, busy living a little bit and move on. Like, let's just think back to, like, Matthew Stafford with the Lions, True. Matt Ryan with the Falcons. We're like, we love you. It's just, it's just time. So the, the Packers do it with Rodgers, and they say we got a four-time MVP, <laughs> and it's just, it's just time. And, yeah. and obviously they had a young guy, but look at the Vikings with Cousins. They didn't have squat, and they just said, it's time. If you're paying all this money, and you're, like, you're not splashing in title games, let alone Super Bowls, like, what are we doing? Because the problem is, like, the Cowboys in the playoffs every year, right? But like, when we look back on the Dak era, 10 and 15, 20 years now, we're not going to be able to decipher one year. Yeah. What was that, 20, 19? They're all the same. And also, <laughs> like, you never get a good draft pick. You never do any. It's always like, 
I mean, does anybody think the Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl next year? Like, no. We, we all know that. And I think deep inside, the Cowboys are starting to learn that. Like, do we want to just get in the wild card and divisional maybe sometimes and pay a ton of money for a very good player mm -hmm. and a very good person? Or do we want to say, like, I think we've tried this enough times and let's just get out of this business. That's how it is. There's a lot of that going on right now. I think it's we also get seduced by the draft. Look at these young guys. They're, they're so cheap and we could bring them <laughs> in and it'd be fresh. Um, I think the Cowboys finally, maybe finally, are starting to think, like, this isn't working and it's not working to our standard. And it's, I think it's exciting. I do. I do. I just think, though, there's this pump the brakes moment. And I, this is a quarterback driven league, right? There are a very small number of these elite guys. Yeah. Then there's, you know, the middle of the. It's really hard to get anybody in that elite category. Yeah, right. It's really hard. And how many franchises have just struggled and struggled and struggled with this quarterback turnover and not finding the right guy? And so, yes, everything you're saying, I understand. Like, they're not, it's not getting them to the Super Bowl. But at the same time, it's that what's behind door number two. And I don't mm -hmm. think for a second mm -hmm. that the Cowboys franchise of all franchises is going to go, ah, we'll just sort of be like middling around here for a little bit. Like, we're <laughs> okay know. being like 500 or a little bit below 500. They're not going to be okay with that. And I understand I like that. going to the playoffs and winning one game is no longer good enough. But the alternative is, I always think it's like the alternative is what? And it's the same thing with the coaches. Like, we're going to get rid of this coach. Even the Mike McCarthy situation. What's, what's better? What's your yeah. situation that is better? What is behind door number two that's definitely going to get you there, But right? is Dak one of those elite guys? Like, is he? You know, Jason likes to talk about sometimes. There's just one guy I'm not going to name. But Jason always says, whenever he comes up in commercial break, as a quarterback, a well-known guy, Jason's like, that's not a guy you worry about. Like, you don't worry yeah. during that week. Yeah. And I'm not going to name the guy. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about. Like, is Dak one of those guys? He's a very good player, and he puts up numbers, but are you like, oh, man, we got Dak this week. He's good. Yep, yep. I don't know if he's on the like the crazy list. And it's that train of thought. Like, I was in Cleveland. We know how that year went. We didn't win a single game, but it was a thought from an organization. Do you stay and end up middle of the pack, to your point, or do you say, you know what, we really want to win the whole thing? Yeah. So yeah. we have to build a roster, break it all the way down, and build it back up in the sense of now we're actually competing for a Super Bowl. Because to your point... You do the confetti test. After all of these years with Dak wearing a number four for the Dallas Cowboys, if I can't see the confetti falling and us hoisting the Lombardi, do you say, you know what, blow the whole thing up, start <laughs> all over, and see, instead of just continuing to pay the superstars, right. next thing you know, you're going to have to repay Dak, you're going to have to pay Micah, you're going to have to pay C.D. Lamb, mm -hmm. you're going to look around and you don't have a whole roster built, and it's like, but can this team get you to the promised land? Let me ask this, the confetti test, was there no point during the year last season that you sat on this desk, there, was there no point that you could have seen the confetti test? I picked the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl. I was one of the most <laughs> disappointed people coming in here on Monday after That's the true. Packers just annihilated them. Not Kyle everybody's an expert, buddy. Not everybody's uh, an expert. 